Alder Grove Credit Union Community Center. <laughs> and the Alder Co-op Outdoor Experience. <laughs> Usually I leave this to last, but we're going to start with a thank you right up front to Lisa and our events team from the Township of Langley for helping pull this morning together and uh, short notice. And thank you, Drew. My name is Jason Wetzlade, work for the Township of Langley and the General Manager of Municipal Administration and it's been my pleasure to uh, oversee this project for the last number of years. Um, 25 years ago, in about a week or two here, I actually started with the Township of Langley and my very first office ever in Parks and Recreation was in the old Alder Grove Arena, which we'll be able to call old in about another month. Um, and uh, I was welcomed to the township and given an office in a broom closet of the Alder Grove Arena. And it's come full circle for me yesterday because I had to talk to one of our staff and explain how an office has kind of become an office slash laundry room in the arena. So uh, some things come, come right around. But I'm really proud to be back in Alder Grove today and uh, unveiling this facility. Throughout my 25 years with the township, I've had a great relationship with Alder Grove, done many projects, developed many great relationships. Uh, I was talking to Brian Thomason earlier today. He's one of the first people I ever met, actually, when I came to Alder Grove. Uh, my supervisor at the time was Earl Erickson, who I'm happy is here today, and now involved with our Recreation, Culture, and Parks Committee. Um, and so many familiar faces, including a young Charlie Fox, who was a principal at one of the schools, and now, as a counselor, has been one of the biggest uh, supporters with all of our members of Marin Council for this project. So, really pleased to be here today. Um, we've got a series of thank yous, some brief speeches. We're going to try to keep it uh, moving along, but we do have a lot of people we want to acknowledge and, and thank uh, and allow to speak. Um, I want to start by thanking the township staff who played such a big role in this project. It hasn't been easy. Uh, it's been long. It's a very unique project, a lot of different things. So Harp Shohan is here uh, somewhere. I know our staff are all spread around, but Harp's over here, I can see. That's why a special round of applause, because Harp's been with me from the start. We had some fun days early on in this project when we uh, went out and presented it to the community and got all the feedback, uh, both positive and uh, not so much, but uh, <laughs> we had some great times and Harp's been a huge part of this project. We've had a number of other staff um, and lots of them are here today, but Gord Swiston who managed the off-site works, the road improvements, the traffic, sidewalks, the traffic places you see. Uh, Leanne, Steve and Rob from our Parks and Recreation Division pretty much been involved from the start. And now recently, Carrie, Nicole, and all of our Parks and Recreation staff that you're going to see many of today. Under the direction of Christine Blair, our Director of Parks and Recreation. Christine's somewhere here, I'm sure. Um, they're going to be operating this facility, and it's going to be a fantastic experience for them. Uh, we've given them exactly one day's uh, preparation and training leading into this. So many of you, I'm going to talk a little bit later about the test swims, but we're kind of doing this in an opposite order where we're doing the ceremony first then starting our test swims and our training. Uh, normally we hide inside of a building somewhere and do all of our training and then unveil it. But we know that with school out yesterday, people are anxious to participate in that, so we're, we're going to get rolling. And our re recreation staff have been great. And all of our various staff involved in the planning, the construction, and, and now the operations. And many of them are here today. So thank you to all of the various township staff that are here and that have played a part in this. So we have an illustrious lineup of speakers. Um, I'm going to start off with our Member of Parliament for Cloverdale Langley City, uh, Mr. John Aldag. John was fantastic in the support for this project, um, and we've been able to accomplish a lot that we wouldn't have been able to with uh, no small chunk of federal funding. So I want to say thank you to John and introduce him, uh, bring him on up here. Good morning, everybody. It's a real pleasure to be here. Doesn't this look like an amazing facility? Woo! So congratulations to uh, Alder Grove, the Township of Langley, and everybody involved in this project. I'd like to begin my comments by acknowledging that we're on the traditional territory of the Coast Salish peoples. I'd also like to thank Jason for his uh, kind uh, introduction. It's a pleasure to be here today on behalf of Minister uh, Amarjeet Sohi, who's the Minister of Infrastructure and Communities to celebrate the opening of the Otter Co-op Outdoor Experience and the Alder Grove Credit Union Community Centre. I'm very pleased that the federal funding helped make this project possible. The combination of aquatic facilities, 
arena and fitness makes for an innovative design that brings together a range of sports and activities in a common community space. These facilities will allow the youth of our community and uh, Alder Grove and Township, the uh, adults, seniors and families alike to maintain an active lifestyle here in the Township of Langley. The new complex will allow residents to take part in a wide range of physical activities year-round. I'd like to recognize Otter Co-op and the Alder Grove Credit Union for their significant contributions to these fantastic facilities as well as the Township of Langley and the Government of British Columbia in addition to the nearly $10 million contributed by the federal government. This facility is truly a whole of community approach. The Government of Canada has been working closely with our provincial, territorial, indigenous and municipal partners to deliver on our commitment to make historic investments in infrastructure, investments that will create economic growth, jobs, and opportunities for middle-class Canadians. Prosperity and success starts with the inclusive communities where everyone has access to the opportunities they need to thrive, from women and Indigenous Canadians to seniors, new immigrants, and people living in rural and northern communities. We also know that improving the environment and better protecting our communities against the effects of climate change are key to our long-term success and achieving our objectives. This is why we're investing more than $80 billion, $180 billion in infrastructure projects over 12 years through the Investing in Canada plan. So through far, through this plan, we've approved more than $1.7 billion for over 260 projects across the province. Building on these investments, we've also now reached an agreement with BC for the next 10 years of funding. This long-term support will make projects possible across four priority areas, including public transit, green infrastructure, community, culture, and recreation infrastructure, and northern and rural infrastructure. This unprecedented funding reflects our com commitment to building an equal, competitive, and sustainable Canada, and we're proud of the progress we've already made in meeting this goal. Over the last two years, the Canadian economy has created nearly 600,000 jobs, and the unemployment rate is at an all-time low. Canada has had the fastest growing economy among G7 countries and Canadians are feeling more optimistic about our futures. Our investments in infrastructure have been essential to the success and remain critical to keeping up the momentum. From important local projects like the community centre that we're celebrating today to larger scale developments that contribute to smart growth on a national level, we'll continue to support 21st century infrastructure that yields tangible results for generations to come. The Otter Co-op Outdoor Experience and the Alder Grove Credit Union Community Centre are a proud reflection of what our communities can accomplish when we work together. I'm proud of the investment that our government has made to help this project become a reality and know that it will play an important role in enhancing the health and well-being of the people of Alder Grove, the Township of Langley and the surrounding communities. I'd like to say as a resident of the uh, Township of Langley, it is a real delight. I put on my uh, finest uh, swim gear for today and I look forward to uh, trying out the facility with many of you. So congratulations to the Township, all of the staff and the, uh, the community on, uh, on this amazing facility. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jason. Uh, good morning, everyone. It's a great day in Alder Grove, I would say. Come on, you can cheer about that. <laughs> I'd like to start by acknowledging that we're on the traditional territories of the Kwatlin, Keitsi, Semiamo, and Masqueri First Nations. It is an absolute pleasure to be here today as we begin to unveil all the amazing features of the outdoor, uh, uh, sorry, the Otter Co-op outdoor experience in the Alder Grove Credit Union Community Centre. Uh, joining me are members of council, and I'm going to introduce members of council. And uh, I want to say that this was a council that worked hard to make this happen. And they're sprinkled throughout the crowd, but I want to ask them to come forward and stand with me because this is a council initiative. This isn't my initiative. This is we work together with the community and with our staff and with partners. So, Councillor Petrina Arneson, come on up. <laughs> Councillor David Davis. <laughs> Councillor Charlie Fox. <laughs> Councillor Bob Long. <laughs> Councillor Angie Coley. <laughs> Councillor Kim Richter. <laughs> Councillor Michelle Sparrow. <laughs> Let's see here, yeah. Councillor Blair Whitmarsh. Oh, there you are. Yeah, there he's stuck in on the side there. And Blair. Really, uh, truly a team that, uh, a team that's standing with me today that had a heart 
for Alder Grove and for the Township of Lanny to, uh, to, to have the, the foresight and the vision to make this happen. And uh, really uh, applaud to Council for standing together with me today and, and with me throughout this entire process. Uh, and again, uh, I want to talk about uh, John Aldag of introductions. He's been introduced already. But uh, John, uh, now you're hiding behind everybody, but we've seen you. You spoke, and you can speak again if you want for the other million dollars that you still owe us. Uh, but, you know, uh, it may seem to some that this is a simple thing, that we fill out an application online and we submit it to the federal government, and then two weeks later you get a $10 million grant. It's not that simple. John came to me and, and uh, members of staff, and he said, Jack, you know, we've got this money that the federal government has put forward for culture and, and recreation, and, and uh, you know, it's, there's some money available for your Alder Grove Center. And I thought, really? Because we haven't had money available from the federal government for cultural and uh, recreation facilities for many years. And he says, yeah, you know, it's just we just got to apply. Well, then I talked to Jason, uh, and Jason started working on it, but we didn't really know how to apply because this was a, a grant that was available. And had to have a lot of work with Minister Sohi, and thank you to Minister Sohi and, and the Minister of uh, Infrastructure and, and the federal government to, to get this to work. You know, we had meetings in, at McBurney Junction, uh, Jason, myself, and John on Sunday morning to, to discuss how to make this work and how to make, make it go forward. Uh, it, it took some time, but, you know, the, the John came through, and we were very proud uh, to have worked with, uh, with John and his colleagues to get $10 million for this facility. This is $10 million that the taxpayers of Langley uh, didn't have to fund. That this money came from the government of, of Canada, from the residents of Canada, because this facility is not going to serve just all the over the township lining. It's going to serve this entire region. And the funding that came from, from them is going to help with that. And you, you just don't know how much I appreciate, John, all the hard work that you did and going to bat for us. Really do appreciate it. Thank you. And, and you know, John doesn't work alone in Ottawa. Mark Warwa is the Member of Parliament for the Langley Aldergrove area, and I know um, Annette uh, de Craker is here uh, representing Mark. Yes, she's in the back there. Thank you very much, Annette. I know Mark couldn't make it, but uh, I, I do want to say, I do want to say that uh, Mark uh, represented his riding and worked to get this grant too. It, it doesn't happen in isolation. It takes many, many people to make these happen. So. Please pass my thanks on to Mark. I do appreciate it. The Township of Lanning Council announced the creation of this new uh, facility in the summer of 2015. And we knew it would be something special. And it would be a, a facility unlike anything else. And a little bit of history going back in time. Uh, last term, uh, the council wanted to see a new uh, facility here. And a task force was struck. It was chaired by Councillor Bob Long and members of the community, members of council, and they worked through a process to, to try and put together what we could do for Alder Grove. Uh, at the end of that, it, it kind of uh, got shelved, but the new council picked it up and carried on, and we ended up with what you see in front of you today. So I want to thank all those members of that task force that, that helped out in those early days. And it didn't just start there. Uh, there's 20 years of reports and studies by previous councils and what can we do in Alder Grove to put a recreation facility here? This took a many, it took many councils. These things don't happen overnight. It took the community input. It took community support. It took a lot of people to come together to make this happen. And uh, I do want to thank everyone over the years who pushed for, let's get something in Alder Grove. I coached soccer here uh, for 15 years. My family grew up not too far from here. And way back then, I thought, wouldn't it be nice to have a pool in Alder Grove, a nice pool like this? And I always wanted an indoor pool, but you know, when the reality came as we're sitting at council, some of those things just didn't happen, and we made sure that we got something here today, and we didn't wait another 20 years. And that took a strong council, and that took vision from our staff, and I really want to, again, thank them. So as I said, this is, uh, this is a unique facility. I think it surpassed anything any of our neighbors have done in British Columbia, as other municipalities, and in Canada. Where else do you find a nice arena, a swimming pool, and an outdoor water park with a movie theater? I don't think there's anything like it. And the words that we hear from people as they walk by are like, wow, and phenomenal. And that's going to carry on for many, many years. This is a very unique facility, unlike anything else in the region. And uh, this facility complements our already fantastic facilities that we have in the township. The W.C. Bear Pool, the Walnut Grove Pool, uh, the uh, pool in, in uh, Fort Langley. You know, we have great facilities, and each one is unique. Each one is different, and it serves everyone in the township, not just the, not just the neighborhood that they're planted in. 
people will come from all over the township to this facility as we go to other facilities for for our recreation you know another thing that council considered and was a big part of our consideration in this is that the Alder Grove downtown revitalization what do we do to, to uh, you know Alder Grove uh, really you know we'd like to see Alder Grove thrive we want to see it uh, vibrant we want to see businesses move in and people move in and what can we do well it comes down to putting your money where your mouth is and he says, you know, a great facility like this at the entrance to Alder Grove is going to be a facility where businesses will want to be around, people will want to be around, and they'll come to Alder Grove, and it'll help really revitalize the downtown core of Alder Grove. And that was a, a mission of, of council, and this is a part of that. It's, it's getting something here that's going to be uh, a keystone. It's this community and people will meet here for, for many, many generations to come. This will be a central part of Alder Grove, and I think it's important that we, as a municipality and as council, uh, work hard to revitalize our and make sure that our communities thrive and be successful. I mentioned the support from the federal government for the grant, and the process also requires the province to lend their support. These grants aren't available to from directly from a federal government to directly to municipality. We needed to have provincial support to go to the federal government and say that this facility was important. And we did get that support from our MLAs. Uh, we had uh, Rich Coleman, Mary Pollock, and I know even uh, Peter Fassbender, who was working in the provincial government at, at that time as a, as a minister, uh, he went to bat for us too. There were people behind the scenes that you know, many of you don't know, but we had to get that support prior to the federal government um, you know, letting us have that money. And uh, it would be remiss of me not to say that we appreciate the work of the provincial government and how they worked to bat for us so we could get that, that grant. So they deserve a huge thanks. Thank you. <laughs> and then our businesses, the Alder Grove Credit Union Community Center and the Otter Co-op Outdoor Experience. These are two businesses that are, that are rooted firmly and deeply in the Township of Lanny and in Alder Grove. And they come forward with financing to um, put their names on these buildings and on this uh, outdoor experience. And with a financial commitment. And it's businesses like that, and there are other businesses, there's many that have come forward, but businesses like that, that I believe are integral to a successful community. And I think they deserve a huge round of applause for stepping forward and helping the <laughs> Jason Winslade, uh, who you've already met, uh, and seeing this event, um, deserves a, a great deal of thanks. Uh, Jason was the one that came in front of council with 20 years of reports and said, Council, do you want to do this now or do we want to do some more reports? Maybe I'm paraphrasing, but the message came through to me that this we needed to make a decision. And what he brought to us, the vision that he brought to us, that what you see today, uh, we, were, we were dumbfounded. This is beautiful. And Jason, I want to thank you very much for having that vision and bringing it forward. Harb Shoan, man, a manager of strategic initiatives, has already been introduced. But again, uh, enormous dedication to this project all the way through, and, and thank you uh, very much, Harb. <laughs> and what you see behind me and, and over there uh, didn't just pop up. There was a team of architects, there was a team of project managers, there's a team of, of tradespeople that came together to put this to put this uh, facility here, and uh, you know. Yes, you think, you know, we put out a bid, they come in the bid, and they're getting paid. But no, you know, they had a heart. They were here with a heart. This is a community center, unlike anything else. And I really want to thank all the tradespeople, all of the uh, people that are involved in this project. Uh, they deserve a huge round of applause. This is a beautiful facility, and it shows our craft. <laughs> so this is an exciting day, and the countdown is on as we begin to try out and perfect and introduce to the public all the elements of the Alder Grove Credit Union Community Center. Residents can register online to test the waters and take part in a number of free test swims that will start tomorrow. We want to be sure to work out all the kinks before the, uh, we fully open to the public on Monday, July the 16th. The opening of the ice arena will follow in August and the fitness classes will start in early September. We can't wait for the public to explore and enjoy this unique facility which will be used by people of all ages and interests for years to come. So with that, I just want to thank everyone for coming out. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting, I think we might get a little bit wet when we just open this thing. Woo! I'm looking forward to that. I'm pumped. This is the best day in all the Grove and I've seen in a long time to open Woo! this. Thing.